at the poles poles consist of the arctic and antarctic regions polar bears polar bears are masters of the arctic region now let us see how they have adapted to the extremely cold climatic conditions they have a yellow white fur which helps them to blend in with their habitat this thick fur coat is made up of two layers the inner layer is very thick and made of short hair and the outer layer has long hair these hairs are hollow and trap the air keeping the body warm hair on their fur stick together when the bears get wet thus preventing icy waters from entering the body they have a thick layer of fat called blubber under the fur which insulates the body and acts as a storehouse of food for them when food is hard to find they also have very powerful legs that enable them to walk and swim for long distances looking for prey their wide large paws help them to walk on ice and snow their rough soles give them a firm grip they can close their nostrils while swimming under water so that water does not get in penguins now let us dive into the world of penguins they live at the outer extreme part of the world in and around antarctica they don't fly but are excellent swimmers they have streamlined bodies and webbed feet their wings are shaped like flippers which help them to almost fly under water unlike other birds their bones are heavy and solid so they can stay under water for long they have tightly packed feathers which overlap to provide waterproofing and warmth their feathers are coated with an oil which helps them to survive freezing waters for days on end When they are on land the dark colored feathers on their back absorb and trap heat from the sun They also have a thick skin and a thick layer of fat under their skin They stay huddled together in huge groups to keep each other warm They have adapted this social behavior to overcome the harsh antarctic conditions These are some other animals that are found in the polar regions In the deserts Deserts are hot, dry and windy. Thus, there are a few animals that can survive in this weather. We all know that camel is known as the ship of the desert. As the wind blows sand all the time, camels have long eyelashes that prevent the sand from entering their eyes. Their thick eyebrows shield their eyes from the hot sun. They can close their nostrils so that sand does not get in. Their ears are covered with hair which keeps the sand out. Their big white feet enable them to walk on sand easily without sinking into it. They can live for weeks without food and water. They can drink about 40 to 50 liters of water at a time. They store fat in their hump which is used later for energy. Their thick lips enable them to eat the prickly desert plants without feeling pain. 
Let us have a look at other animals found here. Panic box It has large ears which helps it to lose heat as well as hear the insects on which it preys from a great distance. Ground squirrel It uses its thick extra bushy tail as an umbrella over its head to protect itself from the heat of the sun sidewinder it easily slides over the soft sand its body barely touching the hot sand it moves sideways sand diving lizard it can't hold its feet away from the sand if the sand becomes too hot for it to move it thus cools its feet in the air in the rainforests rainforests are teeming with life as the environment here is perfect for survival there is plenty of food and water throughout the year there is shade from the heat shelter from the rain and life in every layer of the rainforests emergent layer the emergent layer consists of the tops of the tallest trees in the rainforests it is very sunny here birds like eagles gliders owls and bats that can fly high up live here The birds here have exceptionally big and sharp eyes to spot their prey. Their wings are specially shaped which helps them to move swiftly between trees and also remain silent as they fly so as to not warn their prey. Canopy layer This is the most populated layer as it gets the maximum amount of sunlight and rain there is plenty of food for all the creatures living here the network of trees and branches forms an easy walking path high above the ground amazon parrots and toucans have developed special strong beaks to crack hard nuts and fruits spider monkeys don't come down to the forest floor they swing across the canopy using their strong and long limbs they also have an extra strong tail which they use just to hang from the branches and for balancing the three-toed sloth is the world's slowest moving animal its fur provides it with excellent camouflage so predators cannot spot it easily understory just below the canopy this layer has short trees and plants tree frogs lemurs and emerald tree boas live here these creatures are all good at climbing and grasping onto the tree branches The boa constrictor uses camouflage to remain hidden from prey so the prey cannot spot it. The brightly colored poison dart frogs are also found here. Rainforest floor. Large snakes and mammals which are too heavy for the upper layers roam here. The mammals here like the lions, cheetahs and leopards have sleek coats which do not soak up the water. They don't need thick furs to keep them warm. We also find leaf cutter ants here. 